Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm unboxing for you the brand new Galaxy S9 in Sunrise Gold. Yes, it's the latest color available from Samsung and you can pick it up directly from them. Uh, but the cool thing about it is, is we're still getting options on the Galaxy S9, although we're getting close to the Note 9 release on August 9th. This is TK, let's check it out. Now, up till now, the Galaxy S9 has been available in three colors. We've had the Midnight Black, we've had the Coral Blue, as well as the Lilac Purple. Now, the Lilac Purple is a restricted color, or at least not available in, from my carrier, and I wasn't able to pick it up. So, when we're talking about basically, you know, the Coral Blue or the Black color, so here's the two additional colors, uh, what we're missing right now is the new announced Gold, which is the Sunrise Gold. So, what we're doing today we're going to go ahead and unbox that. The box is very similar to the one we get. Now, as I mentioned to you guys, this is the Sunrise Gold. This is unlocked directly from Samsung, so there's no branding. This is not a carrier version, um, and it is available currently on their website. So here we go. Put it on this side, and boom, boom. And here, uh, this is pretty much just the SIM removal tool, some pamphlets, nothing big and the Galaxy S9 in gold. You can see the accents right there. It goes all around, all the way to the back, on the bottom. So they've done pretty much the same thing they've done with the other colors here. So you see where the coral blue, they kept the color blue all around, all around the device. So this is the S9 Plus, of course, this is the S9. So you'll notice there's obviously a small size difference, but overall pretty much same hardware as far as the processor. And again, um, the main benefit of course is the fact that now we have that nice gold coloring and now we have that little plastic here let's get ready for that noise and then we'll remove the one in the back and there you have it it absolutely shines it's definitely a very unique color um, i like the aesthetics on it there's a little bit more plastic stuff sitting all around the actual frame uh, aesthetics wise though, I think I really like the fact that they've kept the colors uh, consistent. So you're not only getting the color on the back, but the color is on the side. So the band on the, on the side is always matching the color in the back. Now, if you remember the Note 7 from a few years ago where the coral blue color first came out, these two colors were combined. So you used to have the gold band on the coral blue, which meant it was actually a little bit fancier in, in a sense. Um, and I felt like that was missing when they went up to the next colors when they start bringing back coral blue here with the S9 Plus. Um, it felt like it was missing this that, that factor. And I think if you had these this band on it and the black and the, the blue back definitely would be nice. Aesthetically, as I mentioned to you guys, this is pretty much the same. Let's look at it this way. So this is the US variant. This is the Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, variant 845. We have a microphone, the SIM tool, as, which is the tray here with the SD card and the, tr and the um, actual memory card. Uh, we have the microphone at the bottom as well as USB type C, bottom fire and speaker and three and a half millimeter headphone jack. Um, at the front, we have the front facing speaker that also provides a stereo speaker. So this device will support stereo speakers. Um, and of course, on the back, we do have that really nice material. It feels a little different. The material feels a little different. It's not as reflective. If you look at it right here, you notice here, like you can pretty much see the camera here. But then when I look at the camera, you'll see here, it's a little bit more um, kind of almost like a glaze. So definitely a different finish here on the S, uh, on the S9 Gold Edition. Uh, but it feels and it looks very, very nice. Let's go ahead and power it on. And I'll let it finish up and let's see what's the rest of the stuff in the box. You know what? <laughs> I was really hoping for gold edition stuff. So no, uh, so it looks like the uh, OTG adapter as well as the power brick. And uh, we do get AKG, AKG tune headphones with extra tips and the USB-C cables. They're all the standard black color ones that you usually get. So um, when it comes to the gold edition, pretty much the phone is the only thing that's gonna be uh, you know, gold. Here we have it, the background, which kind of matches it. It's a little bit of a nice background. Let's see if we have any additional ones here. Um, actually, I guess we have to pinch and zoom. Let's go wallpapers and see allow. And let's see if we have any themes installed that are dedicated to this. It looks like my themes cancel. We'll go with you all. So the default one does have some gold accents. So definitely they did think about this a little bit more than just putting it on the outside. So you're getting the gold coloring inside, uh, the same app drawer. Uh, we still have Bixby sitting on the left side and no additional apps installed. As I mentioned to you guys, this is the unlocked version, so we don't have any bloatware from any carriers. All you're getting here is pretty much stock plus whatever Samsung put in. So if you consider those bloatware, then yeah, technically there is a very little amount of that, but we have Samsung Health, uh, Samsung Notes, Galaxy apps. And the reason why I mentioned Galaxy apps is you definitely wanna be able to install and run this application. So you'll notice right here on my left side, the Recents app. This is the standard Recents app within Android. 
or at least uh, let's go ahead and hit next cancel so this is the standard recents app within um, any kind of galaxy device that you pick up today but if you download the good lock application and i've done a video on this i'll give you guys a link into that in the description uh, you'll be able to switch over your notification your recents app to something that's a lot cooler than what you have on a standard device and you can also customize the lock screen put video things like this uh, this is what i was mentioning before you notice right there i have my goku uh, lock wall screen uh, well video lock screen wallpaper that's the best way to describe it uh, but overall i think it's very nice i think from an aesthetics point of view if you're if you're more inclined to get the color on the gold i think it's very nice it is a definitely a very different finish so keep in mind it is not as reflective as at all as uh, the midnight the onyx or the black one and these two are pretty much mirror reflections now i typically don't do videos just updating on colors uh, but when i saw this and i saw this say the silk white on the one plus six those are unique enough colors that i felt like it shared its own video um, hopefully you got a chance to appreciate the beauty of this device the material on the back is definitely very different it's not as reflective not as pr prone to fingerprints as you notice with the other two devices i barely touched them and my fingerprints were all over them although they're very nice colors um, i think the, the gold one the sun gold is actually not a bad option um, although i would have loved to see a combination between this one which is the sunrise gold and the coral blue as we originally used to have it with the note 7 if you remember back in the day the note 7 had this combination of blue back with a gold rim which kind of gave it more of a premium feeling and then when samsung brought back the coral blue color unfortunately it just became blue everywhere which is great but I still miss that in the original device. So uh, definitely a combination would be nice if we can see that maybe with the note line coming in later on August 9th. Um, like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in, uh, in the description, of course. Thank you very much for the support. And what do you think of the gold edition? I, I kind of like it.